22-year-old Juma Kilimo is a happy man. For the very first time, he will have a brighter source of light. The icing on the cake being Solar Media, the solar powered tablet he received during the day. As he acquires computer knowledge through the solar media, his two dogs are excited about the solar powered LED lights. The wagging of tails tells it all, but he remains focused. Yeah. I'm going to take you through I was a computer lab prefect. I, I loved computers so much. I, I loved the world of technology. And I paid to technology, computers, smartphones, to explore the outside world. So I did my case as well. And my, my, my dream was to do computer science in campus. But I was a discipline, I was a in the campus. I was a home, and uh, I defined my case is 2020. So now it is on 2022, but the two Nico to means. But previously, I knew news through my my dad, because my dad was Mr. Lavuta. I could join a chief work at Nikapata News, Kuna organization, I could join a Waleo, waleo students when you are going to proceed in education, like in our Angeweza. So, I mean, you know, you are harm, you are going to do a You threw the advice from my dad, Lavuta, you are a son, and I want to do a visa, and you are a son. So, I want to be here, you are a son, 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 you are so it was through Chief, Chief Walukuja, Walukuja hapa nyumbani, wakatuambia ni Ken Swid, wameshikana na some well-wishers, watusaidia sisi wenye tuko huku rural. Tupate masomo mzuri, tutuweza kujisaidia. Tena kitu cha kushangaza sana ilikuwa ni kila kitu itakuwa free, hakuna kitu utalipa. Yani wametusaidia sana tu mungu wa mbariki. So vile walikuja, tulikuwa registered, tukaitwa, wakakuja na some visitors when mama Leila and another man, wakakuja pia na standard group, wakakuja wakatuwa advice vizuri, wakatuambia vile, vile solar media itasaidia, eh, jinsi ya kutunza na jinsi tutafaidika kutoka kwa hiyo. Hmm. Na vile tulipo hizi gadget, hizi gadget ni mezona nzuri sana kwa sababu kama hapa nyumbani, kuna shida ya hata, kuna, kuna giza. Na huku niporini sana kuna wanyamapori, kuna ndovu, mara simba. So, nimepata ina balm tatu, moja ndwe ya hapa juu. Ina nisaidia, paka nasaidia my small brother kusoma, ina nisaidia kusoma, nasaidia mamu jikoni kupika, njua napika na kuni, moshi nyingi. Saba, uwa natumia tochi ya simu kumulika kipika, lakini saa vile tumepata balbu, itatusaidia sana. Kwa metusaidia na sola, hiyo ni nzuri. Kwa nini? Kwa sababu huku, hatuna stima. Tena huku, mostly tutasurvive tunayo sola. Ito tusaidia sana. Saa mi, I appreciate so much. Hata, nimeingia ndani ya gadget, nikapata kuna computer programming. 
na my dream was computer science. Sasa nimeona computer programming na computer science they are somewhat related. Na jumi napenda computers, itanisaidia sana ku pursue my course ya computer programming. Nitafanya computer programming, nitasoma kwa bidii ili in future iweze kunisaidia, iweze kusaidia jamii na iweze kusaidia pia majirani. Eh na nipenda computer programming tu njoele computer spirit ilikuwa kwa damu tangu high school It is dating at 19 year old Faith Kitty was homestead just like Juma the form for liver is among those who received the solar powered tablets and lights Today she has brought solar lights to her parents aboard and can now study her dream course computer at the comfort of her living room Shh silence please class in session Nilisikia from uh, from church ngasikia kuna watu wanapeana computer za bure watakuwa nasomea home hata kwa na PN amount eh nilienda ofisini kwa assistance chief ndipo tulikuwa na mkutano tukaelezea venye tutapewa hizi computer venye tutazitumia na vile zitatu tusaidia haya jo ni vitu za bure sio rais kupewa vitu za bure za kusoma Tuliambua tukuje siku ya Jumatano ambapo tulifika hapo mnamo saa 4 tukasubiri wageni wetu ambao walituletea hivi vifaa za za kusomea tukapewa kwanza tukapewa kwanza tulirejesta kwanza alafu tukapewa jinsi ya kujifunza tuone tumeelewa ama tujaelewa tukajifunza na tukaelewa kupewa yangu peke yangu manake tulikuwa wengi e, tulipewa kama watu watatu wa kushia moja na itaweza kutusaidia Matari, matarajio yangu ni kuangalia maisha yangu ya kesho ambapo nataka nitie bidii nifanye hii course ya computer programming ndo niweze kuendelea vyema nitakuwa naita marafiki wangu pia wanakuja tuna, na kama mali hawajaelewa na nimeelewa zaidi na wafunza na tuna share knowledge kama siku moja kama mchana sina kazi na ezaingia nisome like 3 hours kama usiku na ezaingia 3 hours pia e, nimezaliwa hapa mtito wa ndei mali naisha hapa ni kwa wazazi wangu hii area tujijaliwa na stima kwa hivyo nimefurahia sana. Nimeweza kupata solar panel ambayo iko na tablet ya kutumia na, na pia iko na three bulbs. Nimenisaidia sana na bado itaendelea kunisaidia wakati ninaposoma. Ningependa kuwashukuru sana. Naambia asante sana kwa kuweza kunibariki na hizi vitu za kusomea na Mungu abariki sana. Tulikuwa tuna tunatumia tayari mafuta lakini kwa sababu nimepata solar panel ambayo iko na three bulbs nimeshukuru na sitaweza kuitumia tena maana yake nimesaidika. Hiyo mafuta tena ilikuwa inakusumbua macho hiyo ya harufu yake. Hiyo mafuta tayari yenyewe inakuanga na ina affect sometimes hiyo harufu yake The solar media is a solar powered tablet containing preloaded content that creates sustainable solutions to a whole range of challenges facing last mile communities without electricity and internet connectivity such as agricultural production access to food education and health as well as entrepreneurship opportunities It is a product of Solaran Company, a Chinese social enterprise joining hands with its Kenyan counterpart, Mama Leila, meaning Mother of Lights. It is a 
za media that uh, we learn about sources of what energy where you can find us uh, doing academic things that is built on the Kenyan curriculum. And uh, when Mama Leila brought us on board, it was to provide content that we would work with, specifically with this system. What we had initially would not be possible to work with the system because we are, we, we are online based. Until now, this solar media came and we had to look uh, to, to find a way to reach out to those people who do not have connectivity to the internet. We have to find a way to convert our content so that it can fit into the solar media and it can be of benefit to, to the learners. So we are providing uh, Mama Lila in the solar media program with uh, image-based content. So we convert what we have into images. Uh, we put it uh, into the solar media. It is encrypted so that it can benefit the learners. Uh, we are dealing with the curriculum from um, the basic education curriculum in Kenya, that is primary and secondary levels, as we transition into the 2663 of, uh, of uh, the CBC. Yes. Have you enjoyed the classes in solar media? Yes. Who has learned something good? My name is Malim Tabazi. Today we learned about energy from solar media. We have learned about clean and dirty energy. Clean energy is solar power energy, wind energy, and water energy. Dirty energy is charcoal, firewood, and petrol. I've learned about energy. Energy is its ability to do work. My name is Jemima Mopian. I learned about clean and dirty energy. Clean, clean and dirty energy is energy is ability to do work. And I want to thank Solar Media because I have learned something today. Thank you. The gadget is a dear son. Wow, to be my own grandpa. Now, to control test. So, to put in the kitchen, I saw. Let me Nikianza venye naanza kukoroga kama sponge cake na koroga mayai e, naweka sukari naweka baking powder na unga on beekeeping and uh, we have gotten some skills on preventing about pests and diseases like hunts, like uh, bee, bee moths uh, and in harvesting we we'll do it after three months. Oh, the farmer gone. Susan Lixia is the founder of Solar Run. It was at the wake of the COVID-19 pandemic that she came up with this idea. After watching her children study online, she was certain that this will be a game changer for Africa in areas without access to electricity and internet connection. So today we did a, a little pilot about our solar media here and I was so impressed when the children see the videos, the TVs, they understand what is the comments and we brought uh, they brought their uh, mindset with a different knowledge and it's happening different things in different worlds. And also the videos which they can see will be more uh, impressive than the audio or than the only the, the text. And another thing I see uh, so many people, they learn from scratches different skills like uh, how to make honey, how to make a bakery. 
so uh, how to plant more to increase their productivities. That is, which the video's impact can never be replaced than audio or text. So I was uh, so impressive that uh, we found the right local partner, Mr. Hanif, like uh, Mama Leia, to together to do the on-ground work. So no matter what the excellent solution you create, without the local employment in the last mile, it's nothing. So that's why we have to have the cooperation before China social enterprises and also Kenya social enterprises to help together empower the last male people in Kenya. To roll out the project, Susan has teamed up with Mr. Hanif, CEO of Mamalela, which runs an entrepreneurship center in Gong, Kajiado County. Mr. Hanif, just like Susan, has a passion for helping the unprivileged. Mamalela Social Enterprise was spearheaded by Mr. Hanif's elder sister, the late Roshan Ahmed. It's a project for empowering women, as you must have seen today. Uh, we want to empower women because we believe women are the power of the family, we look after the children, we look after the home. So empowerment of women is empowerment of families. Uh, this is our main uh, idea. Uh, after making solar lights, we thought we would go and do something more. And we, we have made the solar media with the help of our partners from China. Uh, this is a, a revolutionary product and this is the first launch of this product in the world. There is no product like this in the world right now for the last mile farmer who has no access to electricity and who has no access to internet. And for your information, on this we have loaded education for children who can't get education. We have loaded uh, revision papers for them to study at home. We have loaded health, which is a big agenda for Kenya right now. And you know that 60% of our population don't have access to this. So how many times do you go to tell people about uh, COVID? How many times do you go and tell people about diabetes? With this, it's constant content in animation mode. So they can watch it as many times as they want. And we are going to convert it in local languages for local people. So sometimes people don't understand English or the accent. So we will have it in different languages. So they can see what is blood pressure, what is uh, cholera, what is uh, how to keep up with children. All these type of things we are loading in here. And we want partners to join us in this, in the government and the health sector. We then have agriculture. Agriculture is a mainstay of Kenya. My thought process is we have about six to seven million small scale farmers with one or two acre farms. These people are not producing enough from the farms because they don't have the knowledge to get the best yield. So for example, if somebody is producing 50 bags of maize, he's consuming the 50 bags of maize. But if he produces 100 bags of maize, he can sell the 50 bags. So he gets some money if he only knows how to do it. So on this we have loaded systems of how to tell them to grow maize, how to do cotton, how to do bee beehives, how to do many, many agricultural things. We're joining hands with large organizations to get this content. And then they will be able to sustain themselves. And also, do. And I believe that if all small-scale farmers double the production, Kenya does not need to import food. Kenya will actually export food. This is, this is how we can change what we are doing in Kenya. Then the other problem we have in Kenya is skill development. We have 5 million youth who have no jobs today. So we are taking skill development on this in the homes of people. They can learn baking, like you saw today. They can learn hairdressing. Mama Leila is housed by Shelter Children's Home in Kibiku Gong. that boasts of a primary school and an organic farm. At this center, young men and women have been trained to assemble and connect solar lights. Kibarua, nile unatafuta na ukona watoto, mini mama wa watoto sita. Kwa hivu ilikuwa mambo ya hivu ilikuwa gumu na nilikuwa mbaya kakisa, nilikuwa chini. Lakini tangu tuanze, 
mimi naona mambo yangu iko sawa naenda mbele tumelinuka kupitia hii kampuni Kelvin Lilan is the principal of Kensuet Vocational Training Center one of the project's content creators the center prides itself in creating a cloud school where students can learn remotely so when we talked about uh, the soul, uh, the cloud school education then our idea was actually to have it on a web based platform the standard groups farm kenya 360 degrees media platform is working in collaboration with mama lila to take its array of agricultural and agri business solutions to last mile communities through solar media uh, what we see the impact of uh, this uh, innovation and our relationship with uh, mama lila and their partners who have developed uh, this product is having a big uptake uh, of the solutions that are already available with the increasing rate of lack of access to electricity and internet connectivity in remote areas light has finally dawned youth from titwande can now get skills hence make money independently what is left is for them to read watch and understand the content as they await their examinations mm -hmm.